Namaste beautiful souls. Welcome back to Yoga Infusion. My name is Dylan and this is Honey. And today's class is going to be a hip and heart opening flow. It is a flow to release any sort of energy or stagnation or anything that's tight tension, negativity that you are holding on to in your body and your mind. It'll be a vinyasa based flow with lots of wild things, some side plank, a little bit of strengthening, but mostly with a focus on opening. So before we begin though, please make sure to like this video, subscribe to this channel, and follow me over on Instagram at yoga.infusion. And once you've done that, I will meet you on the mat. <laughs> So I'm going to begin today facing the opposite way that I normally do. I know it's going to be weird for you and for me, um, but being that most of my class is going to be starting with the right leg and facing the opposite direction, I thought that if I started on that side, I'd spend the majority of the class not facing you. So, or at least the first half of the class not facing you. So we're going to start facing the back of the mat for me. You can face the front of the mat. Just change it up, you know, a little yoga for the brain. And then find your way into a Tadasana pose, mountain pose. And take your left hand to hover a few inches in front of the heart. Engage through the hands a little bit, so spread the fingers. And then take the right hand to hover an inch or so in front of the left. Close the eyes here. Begin to find your balance, find your center, and find your breath. Taking a moment to pause between your day and your yoga practice to create the sacred space for yourself in this practice. And begin to lengthen the breath. In and out through the nose. Drawing your attention into the heart space. And I invite you to imagine that your breath, that energy is moving through your hands into your heart being magnified and focused through the energy in your hands. And as you exhale, it moves back out through the filter of your hands into the world. Continue like this, inhaling that energy, maybe bright, clear, cleansing light into the heart. And exhale back out into the connected universe. Perhaps that light is a little murkier, cloudier as it moves out of the body. Allowing that light and that breath, that prana to cleanse you. Three more deep breaths like this. Full cleansing breaths. them out. Totally shake out whatever tension or energy is left in the hands. Be careful of your rings. This is where they fly off. 
And then release the hands, and I forgot to mention this before, if you have blocks, today's practice is a great practice to have them nearby. I do have them, they're just not on the correct side of the mat right now. That's okay. And release the hands, take a few shoulder rolls, nice and slow. Bring some mobility into the upper, upper axis, upper body. Take a couple neck rolls, being gentle as you fall, fall back, maybe skipping the fall back if you have a sensitive cervical spine. Switching directions if you did take the full circle. center exhale here and ground down through that right foot now draw the left knee up into the chest use your core strength first you can open the eyes for balance and then grab hold of the knee take a couple circles with the ankle ground down through that right foot grow tall left let go of the knee, bend through the right knee, step back, come into a high lunge, just to make it down to a low lunge. So gently bring that left knee down to the mat, flip the left toes the other way, hands are in the air if you're able to, at the hips if not. And from here, we're gonna take some cat-cow movements with the upper body. So as you inhale, open the heart, squeeze the thighs together, but press the hips forward. Exhale, round through the upper back, draw the chin into the chest. Inhale, open. Exhale, round, crossing the arms the other way. Inhale. Exhale, a few more. Focusing on balance and getting into the upper body. Legs move a little, but not too much. We'll just take three more. Last one. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, plant the palms, step it back to plank. Oh, sorry, honey. Hold your plank, <laughs> press the heels away from you, engage through the core. Vinyasa, chaturanga to up or dog or skip it. Optional but recommended second chaturanga to downward facing dog. Shake the head, yes and no. Relax through the shoulders. <sighs> Connect with the breath. Press the tailbone towards the sky. Maybe pedal through the legs, find some movement of the hips. And come back to stillness. Inhale, lift the heels, bend the knees, look between the hands. Exhale, make your way to the front of the mat. Forward fold, dangle here, grab opposite elbows above the head. Maybe sway side to side. And then release the arms, bend the knees, and inhale, ragdoll roll up to standing. Reach up. Draw the right knee into the chest. Use your core strength to lift, ground tall through that left leg, ground firm, grow tall. And then take your hands to the knee and a few ankle rolls, giving some tender loving care to the feet. Release the leg, step it back, low lunge. Just finding your place here, 
really press down through the top of that right foot, squeeze the left thigh or foot towards the right thigh, and then take the hands behind you, clasp, open the heart, lift, glide the fist down that right leg. Breathe here. Keep the neck soft. And inhale, release the arms, reach up. Exhale, plant the palms, step it back to plank, watch your dog, vinyasa. Second chaturanga to down dog. I move all around my mat to avoid her little foot there. Because you know she'll freak out if I, if I touch her. And I don't want her to leave. She's so sweet. She's not bothering anybody. All right. Make your way back to the front of the mat. However you choose. Hop, float, jump, walk, dance. Inhale, half lift, flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, ragdoll, roll up. Reach up and then draw the left knee up. No grabbing onto it here, just use your core strength, drawing up through the lower abs. And then bend through that right knee, step it back, come into a high lunge, gently come to low lunge and flip the back toes under. Now this is the place that you might want to grab your blocks and place them on other side, either side of that right leg. So from here, you have blocks, great, use them. If you don't have blocks, you can be up on spidey fingers here on either side of that foot too, your choice. But I wanna show blocks for those of you who have them. <clears throat> Inhale, open the heart forward, keep the shoulders down. Exhale, keep the hips square, press the right hip back, right toes paint towards the sky, peel up, forward fold over that right leg, half splits. Inhale forward, open the heart, grow tall. Exhale, press back, flex the right toes up, two. Move with the breath, three. Four. We're doing 10 of these. So like, take it nice and slow. Feel into your body. Five. Six. Seven. Last one. And 10. Inhale, come forward. Move your blocks out of the way. Flip the back toes under. So you're coming into a low lunge with the back toes flipped under. Engage through the legs, press through the right heel. Come up into a high lunge. Pause and hold here for a second. Find your balance. And then from here, take your hands to your hips or you can take them in front of you. I kind of tend to find that they end up in front of me anyway. <clears throat> for option one, there's a second option that's slightly harder, but for option one, hands to hips are in front and you're gonna bend through that left leg, swoop it back and around and come into a curtsy lunge. So you're dipping down, left knee nearly touches the ground and then you'll step back into a high lunge, dip down. Ooh, falling, falling over already. So that's option one. Option two makes it a little harder is you're gonna take your hands above the head, clasp, index fingers pointing, curtsy lunge, side bend. So you're reaching up and over to the right and back to high lunge, dip down 10 times. I'm gonna scooch a little bit forward so I have space with the wall. Okay, keep your core engaged. Swoop that left foot back and around to the right, dip, maybe side bend to the right and back, high lunge, one, two, 
three, four, five, six, weight in that right heel, seven, eight, nine, and 10, high lunge. Hands to prayer now, prayer twist, left elbow on the outside of the right knee. Inhale, come back up, reach. Exhale, plank. Keep that right knee in. And from here, you're gonna take the right knee across the body to the left. Right leg stays straight. Pivot on the left ball of the foot. Flip the hips. Come up into a wild thing. Variation here. Open the heart. Place the left hand back down. Step it back to plank. We're gonna take it to the other side. Left leg comes in and across. Pivot on the right ball of the foot. Left leg straight, right knee bent. Wild thing. Open. And bring that right hand back down. Plank. Vinyasa. To down dog. A little bit of a quad burn. <laughs> Told you there's a little bit of strength happening today. Lots of gentle movements, lots of nice stretching, a little bit of strength. Inhale, lift the heels, bend the knees, look forward. Exhale, make your way to the front of the mat, or in my case, to the middle. <laughs> Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, ragdoll, roll up. Draw the right knee up as your arms reach up. Find your balance. From here, step that right foot back, come into low lunge. Take your blocks if you're using them on either side of that left leg. Open the heart forward here on the inhale. And then as you exhale, press the hips back, peel the left toes off the mat, forward fold, half splits. Inhale, bend forward, open the heart. Exhale, back two. Three. Four. Five. Let it feel nice. Let it feel good. Move with the breath. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Last one. Inhale, re-bend, rock forward, move the blocks to the side, flip the right toes under, come up high lunge. Pause for a second to find your balance. And then clasp the hands above the head if you took that variation last time with the side bend, this time you'll be side bending to the left. Take the right foot back and around, curtsy lunge or curtsy lunge side bend, I forgot about my own side bend. Step back, lunge dip 10 times. One, one, two, two, keep that left heel engaged, three, three, press the floor away from you to engage the back body, four, the back, the legs, the glutes, five, Six, seven, almost. <laughs> this is my weaker leg. Eight, 
It burns, I know. Nine. Ten. High lunge. Prayer. Prayer twist. Inhale, come back up, reach. Exhale, plank. Keep that left knee in. Step it across to the right, pivot on the right ball of the foot. Bring that right foot closer, wild thing. Open the heart, lift the hips. Come back to the breath. Place the right hand back down. Come back to plank. Other side, right foot comes in across. Wild thing. Readjust if you need to. I always need to bring my left foot in closer. Plank. Vinyasa. To down dog. Whew, shake it out. Shake out the legs if you need to. Shoulders. Head. Inhale the right leg towards the sky. Stack the hip, bend the knee, open for a second here. And then from here, you're gonna take the foot, rock forward, take the foot through between the left hand, left foot, and bring it flat on the ground. So the outer edge of the foot is down. You have to shimmy that left foot farther away from you. And then bring the right hip all the way to the ground. Keep the left toes down. So now you're at a very weird, awkward angle. You might already be feeling some intense stretch on the outside of that right hip flexor. You wanna be gently energizing that left hip towards the ground. Shoulders are squared to the mat. And if you'd like, you can come down onto your forearm. Keep the right leg flexed, right foot flexed, and Breathe into the IT band, that outside of the right hip that might be talking to you quite, quite strongly right now. Take another breath or two here. And then bring the hands back underneath you. Find your way back to a three-legged dog, right leg in the air. Inhale here, exhale, step the foot forward, drop the left heel down, square the hips to the front of the room, inhale, warrior one. Left heel grounds down, right knee is bent, left toes towards the top left diagonal of the mat. So I have this handy dandy, <laughs> handy dandy line on my mat pointing me in the right direction. Oh, honey didn't like me getting close to her foot there. Come into warrior one. Arms are in the air, prayer or hips, your choice. Try to bring the left hip forward as the right hip presses back in space. Take the hands behind you now to clasp. Open the heart, draw the hands down that left leg, lift, smile. And as you exhale, bring the forehead down towards that right ankle, inner ankle, humble warrior. Let the fists draw away from the body, opening the front of the shoulders. Keep the right knee bent. Inhale, come back up, Ooh, warrior one. Release the hands, straighten through the right leg, take the right hand to the right hip. Maybe pop the left foot a little bit forward in space. And then keeping the back flat, halfway forward fold over that left leg, great place to have a block near, nearby. Keep the hips square, half fold, and then drop the left hand down Right hand reaches up, come into revolve triangle pose. Stack the shoulders. Legs are basically straight. Keep a little tiny, tiny, tiny 
looseness to the right knee. And then try to square the hips. Big breath in. And then reach the right arm up and overhead. As you exhale, inhale here. And then exhale, forward fold over that right leg. If you have the blocks, you can continue to use them here. Try to square the hips back. So notice if your left hip is opening to the sky, try to draw it down. Imagine your great granny's favorite tea set is on your lower back and you don't want to break it. So keep everything square. And then belly button comes first as you forward fold, intense side stretch over that right leg. <sighs> Inhale, half lift. Exhale, plant the palms, step it back, plank, hold. Press the heels away from you, navel to the spine. And then come into side plank on the right side. Right hand down, left arm up. Option to stay here and hold. Option two is to take that left foot behind you, flip the hips, come into wild thing. Reach up and over. And then bring it back to side plank. Pause. Plank. Pause. <laughs> And then we're taking it to the left side. So left hand down, right arm up, side plank. Option to just stay here and keep it like this. Or if you want to take that wild thing, right foot comes behind you, flip the hips, lift the heart. And then come back to side plank. Plank. Vinyasa. to down dog. Now inhale the left leg up and open. Stack the hip, bend the knee. Breathe here. Square the shoulders. And from here, rock forward like you're going into plank, but then take the left foot across the body towards the right outside of the mat. Left outer edge of the foot comes down. Scooch that right leg a little farther away from you and then bring the left hip all the way to the mat. Right toes are down. Everything in the body is trying to be square with the mat. You just have that left leg that's a bit wonky and then come into your IT band stretch. Breathe here. Big breath in. And as you exhale, bring the hands back down. Come back into a three, three-legged dog. Inhale here. Exhale, step it forward. Drop that right heel down. Take the right foot a little bit wider than it was before. And come up into warrior one. Vira Bhadrasana one. Find your alignment here. Find a comfortable place to pause. And then bring the hands behind you to clasp. Open the heart, lift up. Wide in the collarbones, find buoyancy, exuberance in the chest. And then as you exhale, come into humble warrior. Let the upper body be heavy. come back up release the hands straighten the left leg pop the right foot in a little closer grab that block place it on the inside of that left foot <clears throat> square the hips right hand reaches up left hand on the hips the hip one hip core engaged flat back half 
fold. So we have, we keep that flat back and everything is square here. Then take the right hand down underneath the shoulder. Left hand comes up, revolved triangle. Really continue to ground down through that right heel. Press into the block or the mat. And reach the left arm up and over. Keep the left rib cage lifted. Big breath here. And then exhale. Intense side stretch. Oh, that was shaky for me. Belly button first, heart long. Do your best. Little baby, baby bend. Little baby buoyancy in the left knee. Inhale, half lift, flat back. Exhale, step it back to our plank. Hold. Strong. Press the heels back. Everything's engaged. Side plank, right side. Left foot comes back, wild thing. Side plank, hold, soften the breath, plank, side plank, left side, wild thing. Side plank, hold. Plank, vinyasa to down dog. Come back to that breath, nice and slow. Shake the head, shoulders, hips. Inhale the right leg up and open. Stack the hip, bend the knee. Press the heart towards the left thigh. Square the shoulders, breathe here. Drop the right foot behind you, flip the hips. Wild thing, open. Bring that right hand back down. Come into a three-legged dog. Inhale here. Exhale, step the foot forward. Turn the left toes out. Drop the heel. Windmill the arms up, warrior two. Heel to arch alignment. Left toes turn slightly in, arms engaged. Bend deep through that right knee. Inhale, reach forward, flip the palm. Exhale, reach up and back. Reverse warrior. Inhale back to warrior two. Exhale, side angle. Left arm reaches up and overhead stretch that left side body. Big breath in. And then bring the left hand down. Flip the left heel up. Drop the left knee to the ground. Lizard pose. We're gonna be here for a couple breaths. Sorry, bother my dog. A couple breaths. Allow the hips to sink. You can stay up on the hands. You can bring your forearms onto a block. Or you can bring your forearms to the mat. Breathing into the right hip. Releasing all that no longer serves. Our hips and our shoulders tend to hold a lot of energy, good and bad. Well, there's no such thing as bad energy, but maybe more positive and more heavy. 
energy. Let me take a gentle sway left and right here, getting into the hips a little more. So it's nice to hold every once in a while in these opening postures. Take the left hand down now. <clears throat> Take the right hand gently to the right thigh. Keep the ankle locked and gently open the right knee to the side. Right shoulder lifts. And come back to center. Take it back to a three-legged dog. Draw some big, big knee circles. And we'll take it to the other side. Inhale the left leg up and open. Stack the hip, bend the knee, breathe. And drop the foot behind you. Wild thing. back to a three-legged dog. Inhale the left leg high. Exhale, step it through. Warrior two. Virabhadrasana two. Inhale, reach forward, flip the left palm. Exhale, reverse the warrior. Inhale, back to center, warrior two. Exhale, side angle, right arm reaches up and over and lengthen that right side body. Stretch the right fingertips away from the foot. Big breath here. And as you exhale, bring the right hand down, flip the right heel up, drop your right knee to the mat. Lizard pose. Find your most comfortable lizard. Whatever that looks like, whatever that feels like. Give yourself grace if one side is more flexible than the other. Totally normal. Gently come back up on the hands. Take your left hand gently to the left thigh. Lock the ankle so the foot moves with the knee. And gently open the left shoulder up. And release. Come back to a three-legged dog, big knee circles. And back to center, all right. Inhale the right leg up. Exhale, set yourself up for a pigeon right side. Can't have a release class without having a, a pigeon, now can we? Press down through the top of the left foot, square the hips. You can stay up on your hands or you can come down onto the forearms. Sinking into this hip opener. And breathe.
exhale, come back up. Three-legged dog, once more, knee circles. One direction and then the other. Step it down, inhale the left leg up. Exhale, pigeon, left side. Press through the top of the right foot, square the hips. Inhale, tall through the spine. Exhale, take your pigeon. Back up, three-legged dog, knee circles. Place it down. Walk your feet to the front of the mat. Forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, ragdoll roll up. Just to take, ooh, <laughs> I'm so zen out. Just to take the long side of the mat, big wide stance, toes slightly in, heels out, inhale, reach up. Exhale, forward fold, wide legged forward fold. Walk your hands over to the right leg, twist. Walk them to the left leg, twist. Walk them back to the right leg, bend through the right knee, come into Skandasana, right side. Flex the left toes up. Keep the hands on the ground, this is not, we're not trying to get Warmed up again, we're just stretching. Walk it to the other side, right toes up. And then come to a seat. Take the legs wide as the mat, or as wide as is comfortable. Everybody has a different version here. Flex the toes up towards the sky. Long spine, and then exhale, walk the hands forward. Forward fold. Inhale, coming up. Take the right elbow on the inside of the right knee, reach the left arm up and over to the right, switching sides, side bend. Come back to center, bring the legs together, shake it out. And then grab those blocks if you have them, it's gonna be really nice. Make a T shape on your mat. And roll down onto the blocks. So the top one is going to be in, or sorry, the bottom one is going to be in between your shoulder blades. And the top one is going to be right around the back of your head. And come into a supported fish pose. You can take the soles of the feet together or take the legs long. Let the hands fall out to the left and the right. Palms up. We'll stay here for our Shavasana today.
allowing the body to relax completely allow the heart to open and if you've got the soles of the feet together the inner thighs the legs the muscles in the legs will also begin to release allow the breath to soften Stay here for as long as you're able to. Releasing into the much needed bliss of Shavasana. I'll see you next time for our next class together. Namaste.